No, not yet. Yeah, now. Okay, we are going to start with the stage two. Voice is breaking. Okay. Yeah, now it's fine. Actually, I need to put the microphone in front. The first thing that we are going to do on that is basically uh, handling the missing data part of it. Like you have, uh, when you're reading CSV file, there will be instances like, uh, you know, we will not have those. Uh, uh, let me take this example and then I'm going to tell you like what is a uh, role of this CSV. So okay. basically, uh, option we have already, right? Yeah, you, we did. Yes. If I uh, get this, uh, Have the demographics data on uh, number of its yeah. There is some noise around. Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying actually. Is it with the microphone or something? I don't know. Mm, now uh, I think um, it's, it's fine, I believe. Yes, I guess so. I was just trying that with the, with the microphone and without the microphone as well. I don't know. Okay. Uh, mine one is working fine because uh, when I get into Skype, then there's a problem. So, when Skype, I need to use, uh, get rid of the micro, uh, microphone. Okay. okay, so, okay no, but now it's fine. So, let's understand um, what we have in a MyData.csv, so that will be uh, we'll just refer to that. We have a mindset.csv, so let's open right. Open with a um, notepad. Always try to do this in a notepad. So what, see, here you have a, a detailed data, so like if there's no missing data. What if, like, mm -hmm. if you have some data where uh, the main purpose of, of this element will be, it handles, like, first let's understand what a DMT does, and then we are going to uh, get some data when we have a missing value and then try to reach this. So, okay. two options here. The purpose of using the DSD is called a delimiter sensitive data. So, what is a delimiter? Like, when you separate, like you have a one column, like you have a name, you have an age, right? So, you are going yeah. to separate name and age by some, either by a space, either by a comma, either by a colon or something. These are called yes. a, how you separate them. So this is what
what is called a delimiter sensitive data. So whenever even in the text or even in where we have some files and we separate them using a CSV is basically comma separated. So that is why it's called okay. a CSV. So likewise okay. you can use a colon sign or any other sign. So what happens like if your data uh, basically if you think of when, you, when we try to uh, where you have a missing data basically all the data is not filled so it's basically you have comma comma in between you don't have a data so then actually that faces a challenge in, in terms of the reading those data so for that particular reason what has been done is always we use uh, is to default delimiter from blank to comma so by default what it does it takes the uh, it, uh, what has data lines what we do we actually mention it with a space right so whenever mm -hmm. whenever we use a data line say name and age we are going to have the space by default the space is used to be uh, to be taken as a delimiter so but uh, what happens like if you have any other delimiter or delimiter in terms of you use a colon or a comma you need to assign that so when we use a word DSD, it changes the default from delim from blank to comma. So whenever you're going to import any CSV file, it's always good to uh, we need to use the DSD thing. Next, if there are two elements in a in a row, assume there is a missing value between. So what does it mean that in a same data, say uh, it's all space oriented, but let me do something like. Uh, One thing. Uh, I think I opened that class file. In the my data, okay. let me read it and let's just try that. Those things. Uh, let me say that. Uh, my data underscore v1. Let me save this. Let me do something. Let me try out the comment here. Okay. So okay. I had removed some of them over here. Yeah. Uh, let me okay. now save this piece and run it. My data dot b1 um, is saying that physical file does not exist, so just need to check like if it is there or not. So we need to refresh that. So what I did was I made it dot txt. So. So today I'm going to try why is getting error. So basically, I, ha I should have, uh, you know, if I open this, I should have take dot CSV. So if I open it more fast and same thing, you just say well. So here, just be careful whenever you are to, okay, this is just not working here. So basically, uh, I think it's not going to I think it's possible to type it. Yeah, it needs to save as type. Yeah. Uh, it cannot be CSV and TXT. But do it all files. Save as, as type and then all files. All files. It's because it, because they have to be fit in one format. So my data we want to just see that. So now what we need to do is the same. Else, five record was and so on. So we have the uh, name by name. We have what we have done is a uh, demographic people. So mm -hmm. what you are having here? See, you are having the dots, right? Mm -hmm. You can see it. These are oh, the dots. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah. So basically what happens whenever you have a missing value by default when you from the from the when you have the commas over there, so it's going to treat it as a missing value. So there are a few other functions that is called a miss over, trunk over, uh, pad and also We'll have few of them, not uh, the end terms. I will tell you like when do you miss over, when do you stop over. So few, uh, yeah, that are part of advertising, but not actually the content of uh, what we have in this particular uh, like uh, for this session. But I'm going to give some kind of reference to you. Like this is like a, these are the common things, but often we use miss over and trunk over depending on the uh, how we see the input file. I'm going to touch base on that as well. Okay. So now let's. Uh, if there are two delimiters in a row, it assumes there is a missing value between. So that will be checked. So it changes the default delimiter from blank to comma. So whenever you're going to write a data state, you will be having mm -hmm. uh, say by default it will be it will have a space. But uh, mentioning a, a, a DFD, so often it happens like you, know, you can uh, you can pass comma. Like I will show you one example here. Uh, say if I take this particular piece. Right. And uh, let me show you because the purpose of because if you can understand like if I uh, by default what happens and uh, say you have this we have this data line right now you see there is a uh, kind of an a space in between what if like if I remove the space with uh, this and I just remove the space and I am just okay. putting it as a comma. So comma oh, is a no. delimiter instead of the space. Yeah. And I'm not using any uh, say right now I'm not using any uh, DL uh, you know delimiter or DSD option. But let's see mm -hmm. that how it works. Okay. What it is telling me, uh, that also the main part of this like when I am reading this, so as a big project you have something, so let's see what a big project got. So it's something you are seeing here, started, ended project, so nothing is clear right now. Yeah, because it's not saved by the DS. Okay. So let's try out with using that, but uh, uh, then we'll use our course. The same thing, in the, we need to pass this as, in order to, to uh, do the same, you need to write inside. And then actually write DSP. So data lines uh, doesn't have any extension like CS you mentioned before. It's basically by default uh, when we do the in the data lines, it it assumes that in the data state or on the data line. Okay, that these data, data lines. All right, data all right. This is what I assume. So we're not creating a separate file. No, no, no we are not creating a separate. File. Let's see what about else. Uh, start data in line is basically what happens if we don't mention the length correctly there can be a problem so it's basically what uh, when we are defining uh, this particular spaces have to be mentioned correctly like you have like date length right so mm -hmm. basically I need to mention the length of that so whenever we are going to say of the of these letters like basement frame and roofing, we need to mention the length. Length of that because, it could, because okay. by default it is not going to be because it's not a same length, right? So basically, if I yeah. mention it ten bar or something, so if I run this particular piece, now you see like how it goes. And 